proud of you. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of you. Um, send me a comment. Maybe I might uh, send you a free coupon link to one of my courses. But yeah, great job so far. So in this case, um, what we can do then is add some sounds. So this is the last tutorial and uh, we just want to finish it off by adding um, some sounds. So in this case, um, I won't go, I won't do anything fancy, but um, I will be using this gun sound every time um, the player shoots. Uh, we can then shoot, um, yeah, that's what it sounds like. I know it doesn't sound like the the guns you're, <laughs> you're familiar with, but trust me, I couldn't find a, a machine gun or a shotgun free sound out there. So, yeah, I had to work with what I have. So, yeah, that's the one we'll be using. So, I'll drag this in there and then... Once it's in here, we can then create a property for the sound. Now, the thing with sound is that um, unlike unlike labels, unlike prefabs, um, ever since Cocos Creator version 2.1, if I'm not mistaken, um, declaring properties the way I've been declaring them like this when it comes to sound you will have issues so I always declare sound properties differently okay so this is basically how I do it so do that and then inside here we say type then we can then say cc dot audio clip Okay, then outside we can then call this uh, gun. Okay, then set it equal to now. Okay, so notice that this, the way I've declared it is a little bit different from the way I declare the other properties. So initially I would have said add property, then in brackets said cc.audioclip, and then underneath said gun, full colon, cc dot audio clip equals now but that's not what i've done uh because of some i don't know um maybe it's just the way they're pushing for it this you can still declare all of these other properties the way i've declared this sound property here and it will still work so for example bullet uh can be at property then instead of doing this you go on to include um, your, 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 your curly brackets in there and then say type equals or rather type full colon cc dot, dot prefab in that case um, yeah but I've not found issues when it comes to these other types of properties only when working with sound that's why I declared the sound one uh, differently so again what this means is on the canvas because the script game is attached to the canvas so this means that we've created a property for the canvas meaning when we come to the canvas and come here we'll find gun empty and it's expecting a sound so the audio clip is dragged in there then if we drag it we can then uh, set it to play every time we, we shoot so in this case, our shooting code will be every time a bullet is created is another way of saying every time we shoot, right? Every time a bullet is created is also another way of saying every time we, we shoot. I hope you guys agree with that, uh, with that logic. So every time a new bullet is created, we can be running this uh, audio engine so cc dot audio engine dot play effect we can play music if we are trying to play background music but in this case it's just sound uh, for a gun so it's an effect so this dot gun is going to be played then we don't want it to repeat so we'll say false 
if we wanted to repeat, we can then say true. But in this case, I think false is enough. Let me just reduce my uh, my volume, okay, just so that my my gun sound is not too loud. Okay, so we'll try running it from there and then see. Okay. Okay, yeah, again, that's not our shotgun, but it's uh, not bad. Okay, so if we run it on our browser, Okay, so here we are. Okay, we still have that bullet there. We need to get rid of it. Yeah. Okay, so again, that's fine. I'll close this. Let's just do a bit. Okay, refining. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. The initial bad guy is there. I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of things spawning from here. Negative 200. Okay, let me just go on and add some more, some more positions to spawn from. CC.v2. So we'll, we'll, we'll add this this lower section here. So negative 250 by something. Negative 250. So we'll start off with zero. Yeah. Okay, comma. Negative 250 itself. No, negative 150. That's fine. Then one hundred, then okay, let's say five hundred. Okay, just just so that it's a little bit more then even this side they should be able to spawn from underneath here. Okay, so yeah, let's just have that. Okay, so yeah, at least they can now spawn from the bottom as well. So, okay, so this is basically where I will end this section. So some of these are spawning here, meaning we need to change their Y location. But yeah, so this is where I will end this section. Um, this is actually the final tutorial, so don't expect any other one from this one in this series. If you want to know how to later on uh, deploy this game, you can check through the series um, for deploying to multiple platforms. Okay, so if you want to release this as a web game, as an Android game, as a Windows game, yeah, all uh, videos are there um, in the deployment section. So that's where I will end. Remember to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. I find that very helpful. And um, I'll leave this last section for my courses. If you are interested in my course, definitely, definitely buy one. Hi there, this is Luimbo Kasweshi and I will be taking you in this class. In this class you will learn how to create a simple 2D space shooter game that can be easily deployed to multiple platforms such as web, PC or even phone. We will be using the popular Cocos Creator game engine for this project. We will create this project together step by step as I show you um, from my screen. I will be showing you how to add things like the player ship, the thrusters, the bad guy alien ships that you will be shooting, and including the bullets for both the player and the enemies. 
we will show how to animate the explosions, add sounds, simple scores, and even support touch and keyboard input. To get through this course, some basic scripting knowledge or programming background will be helpful, but is not strictly necessary. Hi, my name is Lumba Kasweshi and I will be showing you what you need to know to create a simple physics-based endless runner game. We will be using the Cocos Creator open source game engine to create this project. You will use 2D physics features such as velocity, gravity, forces, collision detection and much more in order to create this simple fun endless runner game. The ideal student for this course is anyone that's interested in learning 2D game development, has some basic understanding on programming or scripting concepts, or anybody who wants to learn how to use the Cocos Creator game engine to create a platformer style endless runner game. Check through the preview videos and see if you would like to partake on this project. Welcome to the Cocos Creator 2D Game Development Fundamentals course. Here you will learn how to create 2D games using the free Cocos Creator game engine. My name is Luembo Kasweshi and I will be showing you what you need to know in order to get started in 2D game development when using Cocos Creator. I have designed this course for anyone who wants to learn the fundamentals of 2D game development and I will be showing you the skills needed to create 2D games using Cocos Creator. Some of the things I will look at in this course include creating and managing scenes, how to create 2D animations, writing scripts, working with 2D physics, and much, much more. Of course, the game development course is not complete without any real uh, projects. So in light of that, I will end the course by creating some projects. The ideal student for this course is anyone that is interested in learning 2D game development, one that has some basic understanding on programming or scripting concepts, or for anyone who's just interested in learning how to use the Cocos Creator game engine. If that's you, then check out the free previews and then enroll 